Welcome. Today, we'll analyze forces in a truss structure using both the method of joints and method of sections. We'll determine whether each member is in tension or compression. Let's start with our truss structure. Here we have a simple truss with joints labeled A through G. A 20 kN load is applied at joint E. The truss is supported by a pin at A and a roller at D. Let's begin by analyzing joint E using the method of joints. At this joint, we have three forces, the 20 kN downward load and the unknown forces in members B and F. For equilibrium, the sum of forces in both X and Y directions must equal zero. In the X direction, we have FB E cosine theta plus FEF cosine theta equals zero. In the Y direction, FB E sine theta plus FEF sine theta minus 20 equals zero. Now, let's use the method of sections to find the force in member CB. We'll make an imaginary cut through members CB, CG, and BG. Taking moments about point G, we can find the force in member CB. The moment equation about G is, the force in CB times the perpendicular distance to point G equals the 20 kN load times its moment arm. Solving this equation, we find that the force in member CB is 30 kN compression. Finally, let's analyze joint B. We now know the force in CB, and we can find the forces in members BF, BG, and AB using force equilibrium equations. Remember, a positive force indicates tension, while a negative force indicates compression. Let's summarize our results. We found member BE is in tension at 15 kN, member EF is in tension at 15 kN, member CB is in compression at 30 kN, member BF is in tension at 20 kN, and member BG is in compression at 25 kN.